went into foster care when I was 11. I hated school. I, I just felt like there was no reason for me to be in school. And I knew a lot of people who dropped out, so I was like, it's fine, I'll just drop out, it wouldn't really matter. I had a lot of people that say, no, we love her, but we can't be with her. They just didn't want to see me, they didn't even talk to me. And that's one feeling I could not stand feeling. I was someone who loved family. Um, I started coming here when I was 14. Pride of Love Hope showed me that there is hope in everything. The first time I met Miranda, she was just a ball of joy. Um, she came in bubbly and told me about all of the love that she had for animals and how excited she was to be in the program. I am not gonna lie, at first I was afraid I was gonna fall off a horse. I would look forward to coming here every time to do my lesson. I loved working with the horses. I would always come back for service. I always wanted to help the horses because they helped me. Yeah, humans are different than horses, but horses are an animal I feel like would give their life for you, like guard you. I remember feeling that way with a lot of the horses. There was never a time that Miranda came in that she didn't share with all of her heart and that she wasn't willing to listen and learn. I love school. I am a junior and last year I finished my sophomore year with all A's. I went to prom. I made friends. At the beginning of this school year, I actually had the teacher come up to me like, Miranda, you have really changed. Learning something new was always my goal and there's a lot to learn, so. But I definitely want to go to college. That is one of my most exciting feelings and thoughts. My favorite habit is begin with the end in mind. It gets me to see that I want a lot of things in my future. And if I'm gonna do what I need to be prepared and know what I'm gonna do. She would go back to her new foster family and share the habits with them. Um, she helped grow other people in her home in her school and here at the barn. And dreaming, dreaming is big because I didn't see her dream before. I got to learn how to make myself be a bigger person and how to help myself and help others become who they are and find their voice. Because I know I didn't have mine for a long time. I know how it feels now to have mine. I want others to feel the same way. I just, this place is a home to me. And even though I graduated, it hasn't changed. I know I can come here and trust the people around me. And I feel like that's what matters.